Hey guys, in this video I'm going my best to attempt to show you how to fit the Magpul MS2 sling system. Now, when I first pulled it out I was very confused as I am with a lot of slings. Um, where does your head go? Where does the gun go? What arm goes through where? Um, so I'm just going to go over this real quick. Um, even if I don't do it exactly right, somebody can correct me, but as it with everything I'm just doing my best to help you guys out. Now the uh, main parts is right here. This is the part that connects to your gun. You can see that there's the pull tab and then it flips open here and then your gun goes inside that loop. Um, lock that up. This is the D-ring right here. The belt or the um, the loop harness buckle. I guess they call it the buckle in the manual. This is the adjustment loop here. As you can see it's a loop. It's doubly thick and it's great for pulling on. Um, it also has its own little uh, buckle here and then the it's like an alligator clip pretty much so basically if you want to connect the alligator clip to the d-ring here you'll have a loop and then the part where your gun goes in now if you're a right-handed shooter I'm doing this as a righty so um, if you're lefty just reverse the process and invert it it's kind of hard but this is for righties um, put your left hand through the loop put your head through the loop and then it should sit right around here. Now when you first get it it'll probably be kind of way down here somewhere you won't be able to see it. Um, basically what you're going to want to do is you want the D ring to be at this very center of your chest and then use this strap here with the buckle and the excess to adjust the right length here so that it sits snug right around the center of your sternum. Then with this pull loop here, you want to pull it around so that they say it's underneath the inseam of your armpit, pretty much. So I'm a smaller guy, so I'm going to have to pull this kind of tight. The reason I pull it tighter here versus on this part right here is because if I want to use the two-point sling uh, version in order to convert from the one point to the two point, I need a little bit of extra length here, otherwise I won't be able to get the gun into the firing position. So I just put a little bit more excess here so that the straps underneath my armpit sits in the middle and then you're ready to go here. Now I'm going to grab my gun and open up the system, slide it through. It's pretty self-explanatory. They do say to make sure that the uh, little lanyard piece is going towards the trigger. Um, I'm not sure exactly why, but it's easier to pull with your left hand if you want to get the weapon out. So then um, you can't see the bottom of it, but this is really just the retention system right here. And then it can come up and then drop back down. Now, I'm not the biggest guy, so everything moves a little bit, but that's basically the, the simple concept. Um, now if you want to switch to the uh, two-point conversion, there is a little locking mechanism here. It's just a little rotating thing with texture that looks like a little gear. If you rotate it one way it'll click and then you can't actually open up the alligator clip. That locks it in. Now to reverse that process you just roll it out and then it unclips. You can clip it to the front of your gun up front like that and then you can pull the adjustment loop down towards the front and this should give you more room here and hopefully if you're a little bit bigger than me um, if I slide the stock in, then it's perfect for me, and then I can drop it like this. Um, my problem is that I'm a smaller guy, so to cinch it up real tight, I actually don't have that much room, and this weapon is decently long for me. So that gives you just the basic idea. I kind of blabbered a little bit, but hopefully it'll help you when you first get the MS2 system. It's great. I'll be putting up a review of the actual product itself. So enjoy it.